Uh, we're turning now to Mark Schuft, who's going to join us on the stat. Uh, Mark, has got some news about a, uh, a leap forward in the fight against AIDS. Tell us about it. Yes, it's actually part of a, a whole renaissance, a flowering of, of research into the most important thing in HIV, which is finding a vaccine. It's the only thing which will, has any possibility of ending the epidemic once and for all. And they found a new antibody that That's kills right. 80, 91% of, of what? What does it kill? So HIV is incredibly mutable. It has many, many, many different strains. And this antibody neutralizes, that's that's right, neutralizes 91% of the strains. That's an incredible achievement because until very recently, in the last, say, last year, there was never an antibody that we knew of that, that, that neutralized more than 40%. So they found this antibody, this incredibly powerful antibody, in the body of an African-American gay man. So it's a naturally occurring antibody. So now the question is, how do we get you and you and me to produce that same antibody? Okay, so, and that is the question. That's when are right. we... A, yeah. moving on to testing on, on actual humans, and when, when can we expect there's actually a product that's going to be available for AIDS patients? It's not going to be soon. We are still years away. But any kind of, of research like this is going to move slowly. This is a significant advance, especially when you put it into context of the other innovative ways that people are thinking about turning this into something that can be used in the clinic. You have Nobel laureate David Baltimore doing some very interesting uh, gene therapy research with antibodies. And like is the this. money on the table for them to, to continue this research? Yes. Are they are they well funded? Yes, they are well funded. Now, now it's, it's particularly tricky to get uh, to get an antibody into uh, to a vaccine. There was a vaccine released last year that was the first vaccine with any effic- efficacy. Yes, that's but right. But even that one didn't show statistically significant results in some cases. So does that is that a yet another hurdle? Block to get over. It is, but that was an early generation vaccine. So I don't think many people expected it to do even as well as it did, and it had a modest positive effect. It was the first vaccine that's ever showed any efficacy. So even though there's controversy as to how real those results are, it looks as if that vaccine did work to some extent. That gives a lot of hope that these stronger antibodies might lead to vaccines that will work much better. Sounds like great news to me. Thank you very much, Mark Schuess of the Wall Street Journal.